19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. I guess I'm aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. A movie about a civil war that is set to be released in April 2024 is already being called predictive programming by certain factions. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Farms LLC. PAN Farms, your NRA certification of multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203 300 6343 or use our website at www.panfarmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you like channel like content, what I do here, you can support me with the link. Everything is appreciated. And once again, my PSA for Connecticut residents, if you plan on getting your Connecticut pistol permit, please get the training done before July 2024. Because after that, the training is longer, harder, and more expensive. For no other reason to disincentivize you from getting your permit to go buy a firearm, which is really why they did this. And to those who have your permit, watch that expiration date. Do not rely on the state to send you the renewal notice. Let's talk about this. I came across this actually today, which is a Friday. December 15th, I came across this interesting article and it is talking about a trailer that has been released for a movie that's coming out next year and it is called Civil War. Now the director is Alex Garland, he is also involved in the movie Ex Machina and it's spurred a lot of people to start speculating that this is what they call predictive programming where they kind of show you what might happen in the future so that you'll be more able to accept it. But I really wanted to talk about it and also the reactions to this trailer. Now you saw a little bit of the trailer, I wanna play the rest of it. And for the YouTube moderators, once again, I'm using this to talk about the trailer and its implications into what might be coming to the United States. Let's go ahead and watch that. States have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. I guess I'm aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Oh my god. Get in the car! Get in the car! Move, move, move! You're gonna hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Go, 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 go! God bless America. Heard that and you saw that. Now, this guy, Alex Garland, he's British. So you have to realize it's coming from his perspective because they say that California and Texas get together with 19 other states that had basically seceded from the United States and I'm thinking, I really don't foresee California and Texas teaming up against the government, seeing that California is such a blue state. Uh, you heard that the, the president is his third term, which is, of course, a violation of the Constitution. And you get a gist of the movie. He then bombs civilians with the military. And you get the idea. But I want to come into here. Now, realize this is Newsweek. This is a leftist ideal, you're going to get that spin. But Alex Garland's Civil War movie trailer sparks MAGA conspiracy theories. 
upcoming movie, Civil War's inaugural trailer has sparked conspiracy theories among a faction of conservatives that the plot is foretelling of real-life plans for the not-so-distant future of the U.S. Civil War, which is helmed by British ex machina writer and director Alice Garland, sees Kirsten Dunst portraying a journalist in the near future where 19 states have succeeded from the Union. Western forces, including California and Texas, are seen battling out with groups that include the Florida Alliance. Nick Otterman, who plays... Three-term U.S. president is seen ordering devastating airstrikes on domestic soil against the militant forces that have written, risen up. Now, I'm going to come down to here. Using the theory of predictive programming, many tied Civil War to new Netflix film, Leave the World Behind, which is Barack Obama's movie. Partially produced by former President Barack Obama, Higher Ground follows two families were forced to work together amid a nationwide blackout. As the threat grows, both families must decide how best to survive the potential crisis, all while grappling with their places in the collapsing world. Taken to X, formerly Twitter, conservative political commentator Jack Prosovich shared the trailer, adding the caption, A new Civil War movie is coming out ahead of 2024. This is predictive programming. And then I already discussed what predictive programming is conspiracy theory that the government or other forces in power use fiction, whether books, movies, or some other medium, to make a population accept future events that have been planned by people in power. Okay, Jack Danger, a self-styled Twitter influencer and part of the MAGA Make America Great movement, echoed that sentiment and also pointed at the timing of the film's release ahead of the November 2024 presidential election. And there's his tweet, but... Ex-user Ultra MJ Truth pointed out elements included in the Civil War trailer before surmising this movie in combination with Obama's film Leave the World Behind is not a coincidence. Is this a big red pill? Quote, are, are they trying to instill fear into the hearts and minds of people? I don't know, but it appears Americans are being prepped for something very big. I will not be afraid. Neither should you. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and come out of that. Now, they're saying that this is t being tied in connection with the 2024 election. Now, let me be clear. This is just my opinion and my position, and I'm basing it on what I've already experienced and what we have seen as a country. If there is going to be a civil war in this country, I'm telling you now that the left is going to start it. They are going to be the predicators of it. They're the ones who are going to kick the whole thing off. You saw what they did in 2016 after Trump got elected the first time. Imagine what they will do in 2024 if he gets reelected. It leaves a lot of speculation, of course. Did this guy just write this movie? Is it predictive programming? We don't know. But if we will put it into real world situations, as I pointed out, the left is more inclined to use violence for political ends and means. And we have seen that repeatedly Antifa, BLM, Roe v. Wade protesters. You know, of course, they always fall back on the January 6th because that's the only thing they can fall back on when we have clearly more examples of the left doing this. This movie here predicts that the president will have the full support of the military. I'm not so sure of that. I'm not going to just go all in and say that the military will be on the side of the president if he demands that they bomb civilian targets within the United States. But I found it interesting, and it is a movie I will probably seek out and watch to see exactly what this person, uh, Garland, what his mind thought was in writing this movie. Predictive programming? I'll leave that up to speculation to the individual. Could it be? Could be. Could it not be? Could not be. But I just found it interesting that, the once again, to put in the timing of when they are putting this movie together and releasing it. But what I tell people all the time is hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. But I just found it fascinating that they produced this movie and the time of it. That's why I really wanted to talk about it and tie it in. You know, you can start to put pieces of the jigsaw together, but time that with this massive push now for an assault weapons ban. It is just uncanny. It, it, you could almost say coincidence. Probably not, but you don't know. I find it interesting, but I want to hear your comments on this because what do you think would happen if this situation were to arise? I don't see California and Texas getting together to fight against the government. I don't see it. And 19 states that would secede, I suspect they would be states 
in the southeast up through technically what you call the Bible Belt. I find if things got to the point where states were going to leave, I think that section of the country would be more inclined to do so. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence, the statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.